What's going on everybody and welcome back to our C++ algorithms playlist. In this video I'm going to be showing y'all the graphical breadth first search and this is the code from our video. So to start off we're going to have our starting node right here as S and I'm going to walk you through this code and see how breadth first search works. So we have our Q as you can see here. We'll have our push, we'll go ahead and push our start node which is S into the Q and then we'll enter our while loop right here. And while the queue is not empty, we'll have u equal to front, and we're gonna pop s, okay? So we'll pop s, and we enter this for loop. And the for loop will go ahead and add all the neighbors of s. See right here, u. Since we added, since u is the front right here, it's basically s. So we're gonna add all the neighbors of s into this queue which is W and R. As you can see here, neighbors S is W and R. Now, the distance from W and R is one. So we're gonna add that distance, boom. That's our two arrays. We have a distance array and a visited array. And I'll just have the, the distance right under it. So, now the queue is not empty. We're still in this while loop. We pop our front, since this is FIFO, first in, first out, Q is FIFO. We're gonna pop W, and we are going to add W's neighbors, which are T and X. So go ahead and add T and X to the Q, and X, boom. Now, the distance from T and X is two, two. Since we go one, and this is one, one, and then two, two from S, okay? Now, we're still in the while loop. The Q is not empty. We pop R, and we add R's neighbors. What is R's neighbors? It's V with a distance of two. So we'll go ahead and add that one. No, actually, this T is 2, 2, and 2. And as you can see, this is breadth first search using a Q. We're still in the while loop. We're going to pop T and add its neighbors. So it's we've already been to W. We've already been to X. The next neighbor is U. So let's have our updated Q here. Add Q, U to the end of the... Q, the distance of three. Okay. Now, the next step, while Q is not empty, pop the front of the Q and add its neighbors. So, look, I'll go ahead and uh, we're going to go down here. So the Q is, if we pop X, what's X neighbors? Y and U, but we already have U, so Y with a distance of three. So let's go ahead and add V, U, and Y. We're still in the while loop. So we have a Q, pop V. And if we pop V, where's V? V is right here, we pop it. There is no neighbors that we haven't already been to, so we just pop it. So it's just U and Y. And we do it again. So pop U, there's no neighbors of U, we've already been to it. We've already hit all the neighbors. So we just pop it. And then we're at Q, or we're at Y, and Y has no neighbors we haven't been to already. And now the Q is empty. And since, the, since we've broken out of this while loop, the Q is empty now. We can now output the shortest path to the target and the source. And now we have it. We have the uh, information for breadth first search. So I hope this video helped you understand the graphical version and breadth first search using a Q. If you like the video, leave a like, comment down below, so let me know about breath first search, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.